Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna buck up a bunch of these black birch. That's right, black birch. The, there is a couple maple in here. I did cherry pick the cherry logs out of here and split into the cherry pile. I still didn't get that stacked. But today we're gonna focus on getting all of these logs cut and staged somewhere getting ready to split so maybe not so much staged today i'll probably stage them off camera and have a nice splitting session here in uh next couple of days or so so that's what we're going to do we're going to break out the 500i i already uh marked all these the 16 inch lengths at least the ones i have laid out here with the ms290 but we're going to buzz through these with the 500i and uh, see how it goes. So stick with me. We'll get right to it. As you guys have seen, I was in Ohio for a couple days helping Joe out with a new project of his. So if you want to go over there to Ohio Woodburner, check out his channel. Did a couple videos over there. And he has some really nice stuff going on over there. It's, it's awesome to see how his business is growing. So... Let's get the 500i fired up here and uh, we'll get to work.
There you go guys look at this carnage of black birch still haven't figured out where I want to put it yet I might actually start stacking it right here and split it right after this oak over here and I'm starting to get a pretty good space up there where I've been pulling from so if I get any more oak in I can put it up there let's split into a piece of this live stuff and a piece of the dead standing stuff and see what for moisture we got in these and see about how long we need to wait this stuff's supposed to dry pretty quick so uh let's do that i'm gonna grab a live piece and a dead stander and uh see what the difference there's a live one here's a dead standing they're about the same in diameter so we'll see but i already can tell this one's substantially lighter in this one so let's fire the splitter up we'll split into these get my moisture meter out and we'll definitely check them out there's a live piece there's a dead piece you can see the color difference when it dries out it gets a little darker than this white color here pull out the moisture meter and see what we've got We're all zeroed out there. So let's check the dead standing piece first. Looks like 27. Not too bad. I guarantee you this will be dry in a good week or so. This here, live piece, 42. Here you go guys. 27, 42. So I guarantee you this stuff will dry pretty quick. And this. So we'll keep an eye on these. I'll check these a little bit later. Maybe after the frenzy, I'll check them again. But uh, definitely check them out. And I just gotta figure out where exactly I want this stuff. Get it moved over here to where I'll be stacking it and it'll be good to go. 500 I did good even though I did hit the dirt several times and it still just ripped right through this stuff so this this black birch is supposed to have more BTUs than oak and dry faster as of right now it has about the same moisture content as oak it's gonna be interesting to see uh, if we can get this stuff to dry pretty fast or how long it actually takes to dry people been telling me it takes about half the time so this stuff should be good in six six to eight months but as small as I split it I think it's gonna be good way sooner than that so we'll see how it goes anyway guys that's all I have for today so if you like this type of stuff go ahead and hit that subscribe button hit that like button leave a comment down below and I'll see you in the next one Woo!